Hi friends, today we are going to learn about the distance formula in coordinate geometry, right? So today we are going to find out the distance between these two points, right? See here is a P point and here is a Q point. Q P has a uh, coordinate x1, y1 while the Q has x2, y2, right? Now we have to find out this distance from P to Q, this, this red line. This is the length, means I'm, we have to find out the length of this red line. So how to find? Today we are going to discuss about this, right? So uh, let me draw some a little bit construction here. I'm just making a line along this side, right? Right. Now see, it is forming a right angle triangle, right? Right. So can we find out this uh, uh, in this right angle triangle this length of this part and this part means this perpendicular and this base? So let's go to find out this base. We know that this x1 represents from here to this origin to here, right? This length is represented by this x1. So it is x1, right? And x2 here represents from here to here, right? Up to this point. Up to this point, right? So this is x2 from here origin to here. This is x2. So distance from uh, this is here to here, right? So from here to here, I'm uh, just uh, subtracting this x1 means from here to here from this whole x2 it will be x2 minus x1 so this distance is x2 minus x1 right and another what about this this one only right so see here what we have learned here x y1 represents the distance from here to here right from this level x axis to up to here so this is y1 and here y2 represents the distance from x axis to up to here this whole distance is y2 right this whole distance is y2 from here to here up to here so what is the distance of only this much only this much right this will be of course this whole minus this this is also y1 right from here to here this is y1 so it will be y2 minus y1 right now let me change the color and let's further proceed okay let me give a name this is p this is q uh, let me give this is r okay this is s okay and this is t due to white color it is hard to see right this is t this is s now let me write this okay we got the value right uh, of p r that is uh, y2 minus y1 right we recently find out this now let me write here p q that distance we need to find out right that is in this uh, right angle triangle pq is also an hypotenuse right hypotenuse it's high okay hypotenuse and here pr right this pr is working as a base pr is working as a base and whose length is x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 right so x2 minus x1 and here qr this is r okay qr qr is working as a perpendicular right perpendicular and its length is y2 minus y1 right so just look at this uh, right angle triangle and let's apply a pythagoras theorem right let's apply the pythagoras theorem in this triangle pqr this is a right angle triangle so applying Pythagoras theorem, what do we get uh, from let's see Pythagoras from Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem, right? That's square of the hypotenuse is the sum of the square of the perpendicular to the sum of the square of base. Means hypotenuse square is equals to sum of perpendicular square and the base square. So here hypotenuse is PQ, right? It's PQ square and P square here. P means perpendicular, right? That is y2 minus y1. y2 minus y1 whole square plus base square that is x2 minus x1 whole square. Therefore, PQ equals to, let me arrange this first. Let me write x1, uh, x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square right and uh, I'm removing this square so let me put a root over here 
right so this is the distance formula or you can simply say for a given two points the distance between the given two points any two points uh, here is just an example of uh, x1 and y1 right it means uh, p and q but uh, you can uh, generalize this okay so distance between two points is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square right this is the general formula to find out the distance between two points right okay this is the general formula here uh, you can simply share the difference of x coordinate and the difference of y coordinate and the square of them right root over this is the distance formula in next video we'll be doing the couple of examples about this right finding the distance between the two points okay bye bye for now video